Okay, so today we're gonna to learn about marbleized mugs. It sounds pretty scary when you read the directions, so that's why the Wapaka Community Arts Board decided we would do a video to show you how. Uh, in your kit, everyone has a simple white mug. To begin with, you wanna wash that in hot water and get any oils or anything off of it and dry it completely. You also have two bottles of nail polish. And in preparation for this, one of the last things you do before you start the project is make sure your polish is open because you wanna work kind of quickly when we get started. I have a bowl here that's about 13 inches in diameter. It really doesn't matter if you don't have a bowl this big. It just means that the design won't come as high up on your cup. So what I've done, because my bowl is big, I took a regular uh, trash bag, a plastic trash bag, and I covered the bowl with the ends of the bag underneath. And then I filled the water to this point and make sure the water's room temperature. The Mod Podge and our glove and all that, that's for later after we do the polish. So at this point, this is the, can be scary, but just remember nail polish remover is your best friend. So if you don't like the way the project turns out, before we do the Mod Podge, you can use nail polish remover, which you'd have to get on your, in your own home and remove everything you've done, wash the cup, start everything over. So we'll talk about that at the end. So what I'm gonna do is I have two colors here, blue and green. You can do more than two colors if you have polish at home you'd like to add to the two colors that came in your kit. And for about three seconds, at kind of a high level, you're going to drizzle the polish like this, however you want in the water. Okay, and then you're going to quickly move to your next color and sort of go the other way. And you want to uh, mess up some of those blocks if you can. Okay, and when you feel like you've got a nice combination of colors, then you can put the glove on if that helps your hands stick. You want to practice this before. My hands are kind of large, so I can hold a cup on my hand like that. And then decide how you want to go in. This particular cup, I'm going to just go straight down and then I'm going to come right back up. I'm going to let it drip a few minutes and as you can see, I got this design all the way around. And after I feel like it's dripped enough, I move it over here to a rack and if you get polish on your rack, obviously you can take that off later. And I do have a drip here which if I, I don't have it with me right now, but if I had a toothpick or something, I could block that right now and sort of make it uh, smooth, but that'll be fine. So I let that sit there for 24 hours until it dries. And then at that point, I come in with my Mod Podge, which uh, the Mod Podge that we gave you is dishwasher safe and it's in this. So you take the Mod Podge and your, your adapter or your, your applicator and you brush it on thinly and then you wait a couple hours and put on a second coat. And if you want to really make sure it's dishwasher safe, wait a couple of more hours and put on a third coat. At that point, the cup is ready, except it takes the Mod Podge about 26 days to truly set up. So after 24 or 36 hours, you can drink out of it, but you're gonna to have to hand wash it in really cool water, nothing that will, will ruin it. Uh, after 26 days, you can put it in the dishwasher. So if you're making this for a Mother's Day gift, do it as soon as you get the kit. And when you give it to mom or grandma or whoever, tell them just don't to put it in the dishwasher until June. <laughs> so anyway, and have fun. If you don't like what you do, take off the nail polish, start over. Just don't put on the Mod Podge until you're sure that you like what you came up with. So I'm gonna show you one more time what we created here. And I've got this one drip that I'm just gonna take off with my hand. But it's pretty. And if I had added more color, uh, it would be even prettier. Also, don't go inside the cup with the polish. Uh, it's better to have it on the outside. Okay, have fun, good luck. This is the last Winter Craft Cafe for the year from the Wapaka Community Arts Board. But stay tuned, we might have another one in the future. Happy summer, Wapaka.